Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. Hope you're having a great morning, and I hope you're blessed beyond all reason. And uh, so, really want to get into this this morning, and and just want to encourage you through the Word, and see what God has for you this morning. We're going to deal with Psalms 95, verse six in the ESV, and it's as I always say that you know you can't get enough of the scripture can't get encouraged enough from the word unless you know it's one of those convicting words uh past the scripture has kind of went ah oh, should have listened the first time right remember your parents used to say hey should have not played in traffic should have not done this should whatever you know you just kind of go ah oh, should have paid attention right well this one is one of those really encouraging ones and psalms 95 verse 6 it says this O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Man, I don't know about you, but I love some good worship. I just, I love getting in that moment and and just praising the Lord. I love that moment that you hear that good song. I I love that moment when I can lift my hands. I can, I can just... Uh, just know that's that, that moment that touches my heart and touch the heart of God. And so I remember one time when there was the song Breathe that came out, uh, Vineyard Music came out. And then the, that same year, the, the song Hungry came out. And man, that those two songs that year came out. They came out the same year. They're both by Vineyard Music. Man, I was, I was in a, I don't know if it was at camp or it was in a church service. And it was like, I. After that, I went to preach at Carrie's church, and I brought a recording, and I ended my the, my message with, uh, uh, I think it was Breathe or Hungry, one of those, and just wanted to end it because I believe that we as, as um, uh, uh, followers and worshipers of Christ just really need to have, not, see, we get in this point, I need to experience we don't need to just experience. We need to truly engage, right? We need to uh, really just, just it almost as though we're reaching up to touch heaven. And then the Lord reaches down to touch us, right? It's that moment of worship that you know it's more than just goosebumps. It's that moment that it, it's it's that changing, it's that atmosphere changing, and it's just the amazing. And, and man, you can have it in your car, you can have it in your house, you can have it at church, but it's that moment of worship. And it says, oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. And, and what a declaration, what a, what a moment to say, let's just praise the Lord. And we're getting into the uh, you know, oh, Emmanuel, oh, come, let us adore him. Let's, let's just praise him during this season. It's, I mean, it will turn your downers to, to just a, a celebration. So I just want to encourage you this morning as you get into this, this, this week and, and just celebrate the Lord. Just let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Let's just worship. So I want, just want to encourage you today, get out your notebook, write out Psalms 95, verse 6, and, and uh, crank it up in your notebook, right? Just, just kind of get this, write this verse out. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Psalms 95, verse 6, write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. Let's pray. And if you have any prayer requests, if you're watching this on YouTube, put it in the comment area. If you're watching us on Facebook, put it in the comment area. I'm going to look back and add that to my prayer request. God is so good. So let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you for those that are watching now, those who watch later. I pray that you encourage them. I pray that you bless them. And now, Lord, I do pray if there are someone watching now and they're sick, I pray that you heal their bodies. I pray that, Lord, for those that are well, I pray that you protect them. And Lord, I thank you for that. I pray for our government that, Lord, that you give them wisdom, and I pray that you encourage them and through their, through their lives. I pray for our economy that you flip it, Lord, that you turn it around. I also pray for those that are in need, that, Lord, that you provide for them. I pray that, Lord, that you help us to be a, a blessing to those that we come in contact with, and I pray that you just uh, 
Give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. Lord, I pray that you bless those who are watching now and those who watch later. Encourage their hearts in your name. Amen. Have an amazing and great day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.